Hello everyone and welcome back to our 30 stitches in 30 days. Today is day 17 and we are doing our simple seed stitch which is this example here. I've already started our swatch and what we're looking at is just some, ran uh, not random, some purl stitches creating these little purl bumps in our fabric. We are starting with row number one of our pattern and we are going to begin with a row of knit stitches and then row two is a row of purl stitches before our first patterned row. So we're gonna work through our first two rows here really quickly, and then we'll jump into our patterned row. Now I'm knitting in continental, so it's not going to look very different when I switch from knits to purls, and that's just in ease of this method, but I will show you when I do a purl stitch. First row is knit stitches. I've added a little bit of border here on our swatch, but you don't have to do that. It, you can ignore those last two stitches and first two stitches if you're working, say, in the round or you're using a different border style, that makes sense. There's our first row. You can see our, our little seeds are here and here for the previous rows. Sorry, this yarn turns out to be a little shiny looking. I wasn't expecting that when I started this. Sorry. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Row two of our pattern is going to be done with our border and then we purl the whole row and then we'll get into our first patterned row. Now this is a four stitch repeat with an eight row repeated pattern. So, but a lot of the rows are just straight knitting and purling like I'm doing now. So we have three rows in between each pattern row where we just do straight knit or purl and then basically just two pattern row which, which turn out to be really similar and simple. Finish with two knit stitches for our border and then jumping back around to row number three which is our first patterned row. Now we're going to start with skipping over the border because it's not really part of the pattern and then we have two knits before our first purl stitch and then our repeat begins here so we're going to purl and then we're going to knit three and purl one is across the rest of the row. Again, ignoring your border stitches. They are always knit stitches in this case. Three knits and then see my yarn moves to the front and now we're going to purl. All right. So knitting the yarns in the back, my needles in the front. And then when I switch around, we're doing the purl stitch with the yarn in the front and the needle in the back. All right, and if you guys want a tutorial on uh, continental knitting, of course, that will be linked in the description below because we have done that in a previous video, but it is faster, I find, than English style. So if you knit with the yarn in your left hand, give this one a try, it's actually great. All right, so there is our first row of our pattern, and now we need three rows of straight knitting. In this case, it's purl a row, knit a row, purl a row, and it will be for every section because our our pattern will happen on on a right side row so purl a row knit a row purl a row and i will be right back to do our next patterned row all right so here we go finishing off our second purl row and now we can see our bumps are here across our row and now we're going to do our next patterned row which is skipping our border stitches. I've chosen not to put the purl stitch here right on the edge, but there could probably be one there. Now I'm gonna skip over to the next one. So we're gonna knit, knit four and then purl one, and this is where our repeat will begin. So knit three and purl one. Knit three, purl one across the row. And then to finish off our pattern and begin our repeat, we're going to finish with just one row of our purls. And then that's going to begin our repeat for our rows. Remember at the beginning, we did two rows of a knit and a purl before beginning our first pattern row. So you're gonna have three rows again in the section. So just keep that in mind. Now we're gonna do our last row for our pattern and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is a subtle seed pattern. It would look so cute maybe as a hat body or a scarf would look really cute this way or even say a blanket would be really cute. I don't know, what else can you make? Dishcloths? Sure. Even like, you know, say like a little toddler dress with this like subtle pattern for the skirt. Super cute. Honestly, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. What are your ideas? Tell me in the comments below. Here is our final row of our pattern. Hopefully you guys can see the subtle seeds that are happening here in the pattern. Hopefully my yarn's not too shiny. So that's it for this one. Nice and easy, quick little video. Hope you guys like this one. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Tomorrow's video is Diamond Brocade. Come back tomorrow for that one or click the link on the screen here 
here because if it's after the day that video is posted, that will be the next video on the screen. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for hanging out with us.